Yo, 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 it's your boy Lou. I'm coming back at it again with another discussion video. In today's video, I want to talk about five trainers that I want to see appear in the hyper class of the World Coronation series. For those of you who don't know, the World Coronation series, or WCS, is a worldwide tournament to determine who is the strongest trainer in the world. There are four different rankings in the WCS, and I want to talk about the trainers who are in the Ultra Ball rank, better known as the hyper class. As of episode 65 of the Pokemon Journeys anime, Ash has joined the ranks of the Hyper Class, which hosts the 99 strongest trainers in the world. With the amount of people participating in this, this is already an amazing feat, but I want to talk about 5 trainers that I would love to also appear in this class, and try to avoid using trainers that we already know are in the Hyper Class or in the Master Class already, as shown in the anime. We also got a small preview of what's to come in the Hyper Class at the end of episode 65, so I will avoid using any of those trainers as well. Even though I mentioned how they would be cool in relation to battling Ash, I wouldn't mind seeing these trainers facing off versus other trainers in the class, maybe an episode or two dedicated to us seeing battles from other trainers around the Pokemon world. With all that out of the way, let's get started on number 5. So Tobias is an interesting fellow because we don't know much about him and the only two Pokemon that we do know he owns are Darkrai and Latios, which is absolutely absurd. We all know that the Pokemon Company made this guy just so Ash could lose in the Lily of the Valley Conference. They might have also been making this guy to parallel us catching the Legendaries before fighting Elite Four, but that's a story for another time. With the Coronation series, you can have up to a 2 on 2 battle, so Tobias can stick to the same Pokemon as a way to show them on the screen, since Journeys is trying to showcase every single Pokemon and Darkrai hasn't been shown yet. Actually, shout out to Entity Maze for tracking which Pokemon have been seen on screen in Pokemon Journeys. I'll leave a link to the tracker down below. Tobias can also bring a new legendary to show off like Calyrex or maybe Heatran. Will be cool to see Ash bring back some of his OGs to take him on, like perhaps Sceptile to get to work with Darkrai again, or even Infernape since we saw that he's fired up and ready to brawl on fire types, so like Heatran would be cool, right? Although Ash has a slim chance of winning, even a draw would be something exciting to watch. With the Pokemon that Tobias has, he is sure to be a threat to anyone he faces, but hey, he couldn't have beaten Cynthia, right? Because she retained her champion role in the Black and White anime series. Who could forget this lovable first rival of Ash? He was basically an Ash clone from appearance to the Pokemon that he used. Heck, even in his appearance in Pokemon Chronicles, he caught a Taillow when Ash had a Swellow at the time. One key difference, however, is that he does choose to nickname his Pokemon, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Let's rewind to their match in the top 16 of the Indigo Plateau. Ash lost this match because not only was it interrupted by Team Rocket, but his Charizard also let him down in such a crucial moment, costing him the match. If it wasn't for these two key factors, I honestly believe that Ash would have won the match and moved on in the Indigo Plateau. I'd like to see Richie make an appearance in the Hyper Class as he hasn't made an appearance since Generation 3. Although he isn't the most memorable of Ash's rivals, his parallel to Ash is something that's unique and would be really cool to see. Like him having some of Pokemon that Ash currently has but with nicknames. Maybe like a Dragonair and the Dracovish of his own. Oh Cameron, I know a lot of people don't like this character, but I really do. His most fascinating feat is the fact that he beat Ash with a team of only 5. How incredible is that? He's also the first Pokemon that we saw beat an alternative gym leader on screen when he got the badge after beating Marlin. Of course, Cameron's ace Pokemon is his Lucario, and what does Ash have now? Being kind to my wishlist, I am also well aware that this is almost impossible to happen, but with some merchandise leaks, we are aware that Mega Lucario will be appearing in the anime soon. It's probably Ash's or maybe even Karina's, but let a boy dream. However, how cool would it be if we got a proper match between Ash and Cameron's Mega Lucario? Perhaps he also sends out a Samurott who has an epic battle versus Ash's Surfetched. Samurott's a Pokemon that hasn't been shown off yet in Pokemon Journeys and it would have an epic Samurai-esque battle versus come on! It can also work as a pseudo promotion for Pokemon Legends of Arceus since Oshawa is one of the starter Pokemon in that game. Another reason why I think that he'd bring a Samurai is because there was an event in Pokemon Black and White 2 that brought in Cameron with three of his Pokemon, which one of them was Samurai. Well, that's not hard evidence, but hey, it's pretty cool nonetheless. Speaking of promotions for the upcoming Pokemon games, we have Barry. He was, in my opinion, an amazing rival throughout the Diamond and Pearl anime series, and I just made a video on him which you should totally check out. Barry, of course, being the rival in a Generation 4 game would be great promotion for the upcoming Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl games. The only known Pokemon he has that hasn't been yet shown in the anime is Staraptor, but I honestly don't see him using this in a supposed battle. My headcanon would be that he has captured another Pokemon we haven't seen yet, or even better, a new form for Empoleon since that's his ace. 
Whatever BDSP decides to go for, whether it be Dynamax or Mega Evolutions, the starter Pokemon is a surefire to get one. So it would be a great idea to give it to a character that is kind of known for his Empoleon. We can run into Barry in the mini arc of us meeting Dawn that I hope happens, and then have Ash decide to have a one-on-one -on -one battle with him to rank up even further into the hyper class. Although I think that Barry is a formidable trainer, I don't see him being that high up in the ranks in the hyper class, maybe within ranks 99 to 70 at most. Ash beating him knocks him down back into the great class where he runs off in a hurry to get his rank back and to not give anybody a fine. Cynthia would make an incredible addition to the Ultra class, if she's not already in the Master class to be honest. We only know of three of her Pokemon in the anime, but if we take a look at her game Pokemon, Spiritomb would be a really cool one for her to introduce. Again, this is being really hopeful, but if we get any new forms in the game, and Spiritomb were to have a form, I think Cynthia would be a fantastic person to bring into the anime to show it off. We know that Cynthia is an incredibly strong trainer in the anime, so it wouldn't surprise me if, again if she's already in the Master 8, but if for whatever reason she isn't there, she is really likely high up in the Ultra class, with just a few wins away to reach the Master class. Cynthia is one of my favorite game champions, so having her make another appearance would be really cool since we haven't seen her since the Black and White series. I'll leave this segment off with a fun fact. Besides Ash, no other character has appeared in the anime more while being a champion. And no, Iris doesn't count because she's only one episode where she's in the anime and is a champion at the same time. Wait, who's Harrison? Sorry guys, this is my list and my all-time favorite rival of Ash hands down is Harrison. Only the real realms will remember when I had this as my profile picture on YouTube. Harrison is the guy that Ash lost to in the Silver Conference way back in the Jodo League. He battled him after an intense battle with Gary, so we got back-to-back -back really great battles. After losing the Silver Conference, Harrison was the one who told Ash about Professor Birch and the Horn region, and that's what ultimately led him to go there after his Johto journey. Although Harrison does own a few Pokemon that have yet to be shown off in the journey's anime, I think his most notable Pokemon is of course his Blaziken. I would love to see a battle between Harrison's Mega Blaziken against either Ash's Mega Lucario or Ash's Infernape, especially after activating Blaze. Either of those are sure to be epic battles and what we saw in the show, Harrison is no pushover either. He's a great methodical battler and a very kind rival we didn't see many faults of other than maybe too much reliance on Blaziken. Heck, his battle with Ash was so intense that he couldn't use Blaziken in the next round and of course he ended up losing the next round because, well, no Blaziken equals no wins for Harrison. So that about wraps things up for the top 5 trainers that I want Ash to battle against in the Ultra class of the World Coronation series. I know my list was really random and all over the place, but that's actually kind of what I want to see. It's a worldwide competition, so it would only make sense for us to have a lot of trainers from, well, around the world. I know in all likelihood none of these choices are probably going to be selected, but just imagine if any of them were. I'd personally love to hear your thoughts on not only my list, but which trainers you would choose to appear in, in the Ultra class if you could. Let me know in the comments below and let's get a discussion going. Thank you guys for watching, nuzzle the like button if you haven't already, smash the subscribe button for more videos like this. It's been your boy Luap and I'm out, peace.